Okay. I just called the sheriff's department. Okay. okay. What did they explain to you when, when you asked the director? They explained to me that they don't have the common sense or technology to push stop or pause on their recording. Anybody with any computer knowledge knows that a wave uh, software, they can cut the audio out. Now, the public records law, I argue with them, is very clear that any records they maintain is, in fact, public record. If they want to give me a, a transcript that's chopped up, when I request audio, when they advertise in their office there that audio discs are $5, in fact... I have a yellow pamphlet here with the case number and to where the sheriffs did give me the audio on discs and I have proof here along with the receipt that that's what they're supposed to do and used to do and that case number is 0606 and I hold the audios in my hand at this very moment and so they're telling me that, that they're basically dumb down there and they don't know how to work a wave file editor and that they have to transcribe it and charge people a ridiculous extra fee for a five dollar audio and so we're talking apples and oranges again I asked for one public record they gave me something else they're trying to give me something else they're saying is a public record but the fact of the matter is the audio that they maintain is in fact public record and that's what I asked for and by not giving me that and impairing the availability I'm saying it's probably most likely a class five tampering with the uh, class six tampering with the public record per the statutory authority. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you what they told me. Okay, they told me that they did give you out the transcripts. No, they didn't give them to me. They let me review them. Yeah, they, they gave it to you on top of the desk to look in and review, and that if you wanted video audio, excuse me, audio, okay, that you had to go through proper procedures to to request those audio tapes. Well, I was there with their public information request officer who very quickly had her mind changed by uh, Tony Stevens when he, he, she had talked to him and she was acting like she was going to help me and then I was going to go through her procedure but then she said no that I'm not going to get it and I'm like oh yeah is that so so now you're just saying you got secret public records and, well, well they're telling me that they didn't refuse you they just said no Oh, yeah, they refused me. Well, I'm just talking about what they told me, Cam. Okay, well, they falsely reported to you. They refused me the audio, so I want to do them for 13-2907.1 in addition to the other charges. Okay, let me finish, okay? They said they didn't refuse you, okay? They said there's proper procedures and a written request that you can send to get the audio tapes. I put in a written request, and it, they... It, they laid them all out for you on top of the, the desk. No. If you want audio, though, you have to do a uh, request a subpoena something to that sort to get those audio tapes. Oh, did they tell you to tell me to make a subpoena? Well, they said if you have to go through stuff like that, that's what you need to do. They gave me legal advice to subpoena other information, so I did, and they very quickly had their legal advisor send me a, a nasty gram for simulating legal process, so no thanks, I'm not going to take their legal advice if that's what they're passing on to you, I know where that goes. Well, like I said, I understand what they told me, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to document that in my report, okay? Okay. But then what you told me, what they told me, okay? And, and so they can't give legal advice to do that. They just need to... Th here's, what it, here's what it amounts to. Deputies and department members shall abide by all state, local, and federal laws. That's their policy. I quoted it from my mind. The law says under ARS 39121 that any person, any time, on any day can go to any government guy's office between 9 to 5 being business hours and review or copy public records. Okay. Their audio is in fact a public record. They're trying to say it's some secret public record. There's no such thing. And because they won't give it up, okay. and I went through the process with the public records request, I shouldn't have to do anymore. And I tried it as a member of the press, and so there's a First Amendment uh, freedom of uh, uh, the press issue also involved with this. And I'm not taking no for an answer. I want the audio or I want them charged. Okay, like I said, no. I'll well, just write it down. I'd like to document what, you, what they told me, what you told me. I'm going to Make a report of it real quick, and I'm going to push it up forward, and uh, what people do upstairs is up to them, okay? Well, I'll, I'll be sure to help them. Just make sure you advise them of... Uh, the case number, correct? Pardon me? You do, and you do have the case number, right? TPD case number. Yeah, I do. Okay. And I, I'm going to also get a copy of that that's, also. That's all I can do about it right now, okay? Well, I know that's all you can do, but I just... Once it gets up there, I don't want those guys to try to get in that seemingly good old boy network... Uh, frame of mind and try to not do anything because it's their sheriff's brothers. I don't care about that. We're not going to play that anymore. And I've already experienced it to the limit where I can recognize it very quickly. Okay. Like I said, uh, I'll make your report and it should be done about three or four business days, alright? Okay, well, thanks again. Alright, you have a good night. Alright, you too. This has been an official Tucson Tyranny Response Team documentation. The time now is one twenty approximately. Today's date is June Ninth, being Wednesday, 2010.
time is Tucson, Arizona time, approximately 1.20, in this documentation.